Oh, there was a fire key on the third floor? So over here. Yeah, I didn't think that there was a key there. Let's try looking at those things. A hole in the back. I imagine where the wing would slot. <laughs> I bet I know where that small goal in the back is. Um, I have no idea what you would slot on this one except maybe her head. I'll I'll leave them to sit over here because I I didn't want to um carry that around. <laughs> Yeah, those things are not very even right now, but they're also not really going anywhere. No, wait, wait, wait. Upstairs is this way. sure that there's a key on this room? Yeah, but it just goes- oh, it's all cranked up. Yes! Check it out. Roger. Okay, do that cranking again. This time without slamming it to the floor. I can't leave it here. And why would I make everything? Oh. Oh, okay. Um, probably because something bad happens and she goes away. She's like, Billy! Do something about it! Ah, Billy! Ah, Billy! Where is my Billy at? Thank you. 
yes, I do want some shotgun ammo. God damn it. Have a knife, Billy! and they died. Yeah, oh, Billy, poor Billy, poor poor Billy. Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I should have saved. Oh, I should have saved. Come on. I'll leave you in the corridor. Yeah, I can. It's just that we have to do the two cockroaches again. And remember how much of a struggle that was. I'll go alone. Okay. I don't actually know how to shake them off, or anything. Resident Evil Zero. I wish that I left it after the friggin' cockroaches. Cause they're the, by far the worst. Go alone. Okay. Yes. Is this? There we go. Got seven rounds, uh, three rounds in that now, not two. You can take that. That door is locked. Let's regroup. Roger. I'll go. 
go check over there. Yeah. This way. Yeah. We just leave that and that. That. And take saving equipment with me. Combine with my weapon. Let's split up. Okay. This way. Okay. Let's split up. Roger. Come on. Okay. I'll go alone. Roger. Well, let's just send Rebecca again. Combine my weapons with more ammo. Stop screaming, woman. Just a giant brooch. It was a tiny bit like a choo-choo train. Yep, Billy is looking classy. Yay! Thank you. 
Oh, perfect. Um, here I have one empty gun. I'll have the other empty gun. We can both empty gun together. Yeah! Um... I'll give that back to Billy and I'll equip this. Of course, being the woman of great ideas, no ammo save. <laughs> Time to do it. <laughs> we'll go and open some rooms and try to run past them. Maybe we'll find some more ammo. Let me be Billy, he's a bit tankier. Maybe leave the grenade launcher in the main room, we'll come back for it. So that's the clock locked door. Oh great, we have already triggered the um, plant zombie. Um, thank you! <laughs> you also have a wonderful day. And don't die. That is a great advice. No matter where you're going and who you are. Wrong way. Oh, we want to go that way and test some doors. And I got stuck on that guy. Okay, 
Get their removed books from the shelf. Ammo. Change all of your shotgun bullets, me. I will have some shotgun ammo. You stay here. Yep. Follow me. Yeah. Oh, that switch was the lights. Assistant director's diary, a useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones, though, so can't complain, I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. September 25th, scholar Will Practical Al AI, they really are opposites. They're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. The first time since the training facility was built, the director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. Uh, there's a shiny. I seem to count just shoot it down, okay. You stay here. Okay. Something up here, iron needle. Let's regroup. Roger. Now we have an iron needle. And some ammo. 
which is nice. Let's not kill that zombie until we absolutely have to. This one's just locked. Not with a fire emblem key. That's unfortunate. <laughs> um, thanks. I guess it's the short hair. <laughs> well, what can I say? Brown hair matches everyone's brown hair color, for it just looks really brown. That's not a fire emblem hole. That's a water emblem hole. I don't know about this one. Let's try the furthest away side room. Where am I going? Wrong way. And then... Let's head down and open some doors. I know what time to set some of the clocks to, but I don't know how, so we're leaving those alone again. Yay! Throw away the facility key! We unlocked the last facility! There's lighter fluid, an empty bottle. Yep, that has been combined. Bottle combines with gasoline, but we left gasoline upstairs. <laughs> the fridge. 
refrigerator. It refrigerates things. Dead plants. Lots of not done dishes. They weren't very... Very clean people. Come here. We should get that statue out of there while we still can. She blew his head off. Well done. There's another shotgun in here. Oh, I know what we need to do. We have a needle. Could it be a clock needle? We got that out. Iron Needle does not combine with the statue, we know that much. Okay, so we can't use that. go.
Oh, okay. Um, there's apparently like a big clock. Amazing, I know. I have three bullets, that's not good. Oh, we're on this floor. Let's go and pick up my gasoline and combine it to make some Molotovs. I got a feeling that I need it. Actually, let's not leave it here. Take it to the main room with us. Let's leave it there. Oh yeah, the statue, I forgot. I'll leave her there. She only has one bullet and that's in the friggin shotgun and I don't want her wasting that. If anything happens now, all I can do is throw a Molotov, pretty much. We'll have to do... Absolutely hate running through here for there's crows. Who knows? I didn't even realize that there was a clock there. Eight fifteen. There we go.
That was the two clock doors. Now to make the run back. Have two barely alive people that have no bullets just wandering around your giant mansion with a lot of bugs in it. That's not good. I know that it's a training facility, but I'll call it a mansion. It's a very big and expensive old building, like most buildings in Resident Evil seem to be for some very bizarre reason. I forgot that I planned to leave this. Let's regroup. Okay. I feel like I want to save. Uh, I'm so over saving by now. The moon bows to the earth, the earth swears loyalty to the sun, and the great law of the sun governs all things. That itself is the keystone, the pointer to glory, all our hands cannot be open, not open the door to the heaven. Oh, I don't like this. We're so dead. Yep. Ah. Resident Evil Zero. Yeah, I'm much dead. Uh, continue. Okay, how to best do this? Let's just try to run past the zombie over here and see if I can get to the other room first. Okay, running past him was easier than I thought.
Oh, you're the one with the microfilm. That's good. So I think it goes here. Maybe. A picture of a room somewhere. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. There is a potted plant in the bathroom that I haven't picked up. That will spawn another one of those flimsy monsters. But it, he will be in the toilet, so who cares? like proper scary man change that for bullets um, find some bullets no, but I grabbed the green one and I ain't going back to the crows ever if I can help it. Come on, dude. Come on. Okay. Check over there. Okay. That is a lot of zombies. I don't know how to do this. I've not a friggin' clue. Um... Come on! Okay. Check it out. Okay.
wish I had more bottles. Oh, there we go. That's the other microfilm. And that's the puzzle. Okay. Got it. have some bullets um I'm to run past through the stretchy boy again only one because the other one's stuck in the toilet Uh, an image resulting from overlaying to make films. Numbers appear on the seats of the conference room. I don't get it. But okay. Maybe, but I still don't get it. <laughs> Let me go. Let me through. I cannot deal with you. Okay, that is somewhere where we're never visiting ever again. Need to figure out where to insert the disky poo.
Probably. Come on. Yeah. Just cementing the never doing this again bit. Um. <laughs> we can both be Roomba. Being Roomba is cool. Okay. We can feed it some discs. Oh, damn it! I know what this is about, I don't like it. Um. They want us to input 2D, we actually will have to position ourselves at the 2 and at the D. I'm so glad that I have never noticed this before. Or it's my free ammo now. More save points for me. <laughs> I need health, not really save points. Um. Okay. Her. Her der. Files. Microfilm image. Yeah, I see where two and they are. Um. Go. Okay. I will position myself at two. I need to position myself at D correctly. Wait a minute. There is a file! <laughs> training facility mission. The training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corp. Applying the strictness and most regulous training standards to facility will, without regard for gender, race or creed, produce only the best candidates to be future global evil. The future global evil, yes. The future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Training facility guidelines. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles of govern umbrella corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor to yourselves and the corporation. Okay, so this is D. I think we took too long. Yay!
Okay, a lot less yay now because that means that we will have to wander through more dangerous shit! <laughs> there is a save point where we are. And we gained new things to save with. <laughs> and there's like a big nice door just over there, so like... I really don't wanna die. You see, that's my issue, I just really don't wanna die. <laughs> If the game's generous, the next room should have 50 bullets and let's say 4 healing canisters? That would be awesome. I, I would take that. We could do that. Come on, cripple. With me, the other cripple. We gotta go through the big door together as cripples. And encounter whatever hell we just opened the doors to. Uh, yep. Run past. Just run past. No need to kill the zombies if they're not gonna chase us into this room back. We will actually have to go through with there again, which will be horrible. <laughs> oh, don't say that. That's not a nice thing to say. See, I have fifth. I have twelve. Um. Rounds of whatever that is, so we're good. We're very good. Uh, we now have save points that are various places in the game. We will never have to start from zero, just from really far away. Okay, so... Does it look the exact same as this board? No, it doesn't. I'll check it out. Okay. That thing goes to like the third row and then the third from wherever that is. Yeah. On? Um. This floor is really slippery and there's a lot of freaking figurines here. Uh, bad. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> okay. So that happened. Good thing we saved. Ah. Uh? Resident Evil Zero.
Could it be that the whole chessboard is like turned upside down? And that I'm pushing them to the wrong place? Slipping past all the Zimbambos again. Yeah, it's a chessboard. The game appears to have ended in a checkmate. That is where it should be. Those two are where it should be. I think. Let's split up. Okay. Push this one all the way out, like that. Would have to go all the way in on the other line. Yes, it does. Yay! It's the book of evil. That would be useful. Okay, I cannot carry this item now. Let me just combine my ammo with my gun and now I can. Marcus Diary 1, December 4th. We finally did it! The new virus! We have called it the progenitor. I want to carry it back and start the detailed investigations immediately. March 23rd. Spencer says he's going to start a company. Well, I don't care as long as I can continue my Ooh, research into pro progenitor. Um, thank you for following! Uh, MG's man. Um... He can do what he likes. August 11th, 19th. Yeah, 9th. Yeah, why do I think that it's August 11th? I don't know. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility. Maybe it's because of the business, but he's becoming intolerably pushy. <laughs> For genitals. But maybe I can turn this into my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all the virus's secrets. Place where no one will get in the way. November 30th. Damn that Spencer. He came to complain to me again today. He thinks of progenitor as nothing more than a money spinning tool. Fool. But if his influence continues to grow, it can only be bad for my research. If I am to properly develop progenitor, I must strengthen my own position too. September 19th. At last! I have discovered a way to build a new virus type with progenitor as a base. Mixing it with bleach DNA was the breakthrough I needed. I call this new virus T for Tyrant. October 23rd. It's no good. Can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. 
Only humans can be a proper mammalian subject for the experiments, but imagine how cool a T-virus rat would look. He would wear a coat and a little hat and be super muscly, but still run on four feet, just be a giant rat. Otherwise, I'll never make any real progress. November 15th. Some, someone seems to suspect something about my experiments. Someone seems to suspect something! <laughs> But perhaps it's just my imagination. That was very specific, mate. Well, if anyone does get too close, they may find themselves unexpectedly assisting in my research. January 13th. This guy hold a, a very inconsistent diary for a year. At last, they are ready, my wonderful leeches. They are of low intelligence. They will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. Now finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. January 31st, the devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool, no doubt the work of Spencer's group. February 11th, today I again found evidence of tampering around the entrance to the labs. I wonder if you rebooby trapped it. If that is what they're after, I must find a suitable way to deal with them. Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out the pests. Those two are the only ones I can trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. But Spencer, it wouldn't end there, would it? I will announce T as the next director's meeting and collect my just rewards. Are they bad people to trust? Cool. He made the cool virus. Ah, uh, bad Albert. He did a bad. How dare he. Uh... <laughs> Stay down! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, my savior. Um, here, hold my book. I am fine. I am so fine now. First investigation unit notes. We are searching the facilities and it looks like a lot of chemicals survived. Fortunately, the storage tanks are still all full. We have just started and there is still a lot we don't know, but it appears that chemicals can be mixed to produce new substances. Chemicals are scattered all about, not because of an accident, more of a result of plane mismanagement. When we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrolled on the back of the note. Red plus blue is sulfuric acid, green plus red is stripping agent. Oof. I don't suppose you mean the herbs because I kept on eating them and I don't want sulfuric acid in my system. Doesn't sound like a good thing to have. Carry my stuff. Going away. Going away. Going out of here. I might equip the shotgun. <laughs>
that door's done now. That's nice. Billy, equip more bullets. There you go. Okay, one massive door is downstairs. The other one's upstairs. Got it. Now well, let's go downstairs. This is scary. Scared. Don't want to lose my save, but at the same time I don't want to waste the rest of my ink ribbons. Silly mansion full of stuff. How dare it. I mean, I only have five on me. <laughs> I know, it sounds like a lot, doesn't it? Okay, let's waste one. Before we go through the big door and get killed. Let's stop overriding Billy saves because we'll run into those saves where we stop having ammo at all. And <laughs> if I have to restart, I don't want to restart from there. This was the front door? <laughs> yes, it was the front door. I'm, what, what am I expecting to see in here? They do not go over there, the fence. An elevator of sorts. Ah, the generator. There's no response. Looks like it doesn't get any power. Probably because it doesn't have something put into it. Probably needs me to stick something in it. We really don't want to leave this place, do we? Because that's what we could do. Oh, I see. Well, how the hell do I climb up there? There's no signs of decay! Is that a- no, that's not a ladder, that's just an int intricate pattern. I, I could have been fooled. Oh! Um... We left our hook at home, aka the main room, which seems to be, um, <laughs> uh, devoid of things, so we can try, but we, we just need to pick it up again. Honestly, I really wish that this game had a storage chest, simply for the sole reason of Getting them to pick stuff off the floor sometimes is really difficult because you need to like turn around in circles. Okay, I can't use this right now. There's something there, but you can't see it well from here. Well, just shoot a hook at it! What harm would that do? None, but okay. Let's go back inside. Oh, 
would suggest shooting a hook at it from a different position, such as upstairs, but... That requires any of the upstairs rooms to be facing the right way. That's outside. No, it's not. Can we hook through the... Um... Window? Doesn't hurt to check, especially considering that zombies do not spawn in here. Okay, he's commenting on the sky and the ominous clouds. Just gonna push Rebecca until she stops walking into me. I'm not too sure if it is from here. Because all I commented on so far are the dark ominous clouds. I'll check it out. Okay. Let's regroup. Roger. Nope, not this one though. Let's leave the hook shot for now again. And let's try pushing on the column. Maybe I have superhuman strength, you may never know. Let's check. How strong is Billy? Nope, Billy doesn't want to push it. Billy, Billy. Yeah, there is. There's one more big door. I just don't really like opening them. For you never know what's outside of them. <laughs> Nothing. We're just exploring this still. Let's go up. Come on. Come on. Let's equip the character that has some bullets and some health. That may help. Now to run all the way up. Into the tower. Oh, I don't like that noise. Nope! I already used it. Like fully. Run around the cockroaches! Don't... Don't shoot them. Idiot! Idiot! We're good. We're just calling him an idiot. Resident Evil Zero. <laughs> now nah, we're fine. Whenever they, like, write out all of those notes, I always feel like that's almost like, are you sure you want to continue? Um... I'll go. Yeah. Yeah, please, please stay away and stay over there. For I don't think that you're very well suited to running through the cockroaches. I am. I can run. I seem to be able to navigate them. You can't. I don't even know if he has completed this one. Plus, we still have a room to explore, so that's always a good place to start. Uh, wasn't that the wrong way? Uh, that was the wrong way, God damn it! Sorry cockroaches, I have to run around again. I ran the wrong way. Who 
still more bullet for me. If I can get there, that is. Um. Yes. I like bullets. Bullets are life. Bullets are good. Everyone should love bullets. Where does this room go? Um, nowhere? The door is locked, but that doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. It's just locked by the you can't go there magic. It's my favorite. It says you can't go there, and then you don't. <laughs> 